And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, led by his trainer, Shane McGuigan. Wearing tonight white, trimmed in black and gold, he weighed in 16 stone, or 224 pounds. In 29 professional bouts, his record, 27 victories, including 25 knockouts, just two defeats. He is the fighting pride of South London, England, the former unified. So referee Terry O'Connor brings the two boxers together to receive their Possibly final instructions. I want to expect shake hands, best of to both. Here we go. God bless you. So during that brief coming together, the height advantage enjoyed by Arnold Jajai apparent. How much will he be able to capitalize on that as he prepares to square off against the speedy, elusive David Hay as he continues his ring return? So here we go then, the first of the scheduled 10 three-minute rounds in this heavyweight main event contest between the former two-weight world champion David the Haymaker Hay wearing white trunks trimmed with gold, his opponent the undefeated Arnold the Cobra Jajai wearing solid white trunks with the bunch of advertising logos all over the legs. The first coming together. And David Hay immediately looking to tee off with hooks and uppercuts. Jajai walking in behind a high-held guard. His body is rather open as his elbow just played. And a thunderous right hand straight through the guard has put Arnold Jajai on the canvas with just 40 seconds elapsed on the clock. Tremendous right hand. And it didn't hit him flush, just hit him on the side of the glove, but enough to jerk his head back. He's in trouble here. Jajai in desperate trouble, retreating to the ropes in survival mode, covering up with more than two minutes to negotiate off this opening round. Hay firing an uppercut but missing, but there is still a long way to go in this opening stanza for Arnold Jajai to get to another right hand through the guard, buckles his knees, and Jajai being exposed to a difference in levels here. His undefeated record doing precious little to help his current predicament. Fires a right hand back in desperation, but it is all David Hay through the opening half of this first round. Yeah, Davis just now changed his tactics a little bit. He's trying to get him to open up. Jerjai walked into him to begin with. Now he's, he's back in, backing off of the high guard and being defensive. So he's harder to hit clean. Backing off, but finding himself confined towards the ropes. David Hay looking incredibly relaxed. Not a hair out of place to this point while the face of Jerjai has been reddened. And he's realizing that this is an entirely different sport from what he's been used to to this point in his career. He's doing precious little in the form of offense. Hasn't quite fully entered survival mode yet. But he's really not letting his hands go with any type of bad intentions through this point of the opening round. So Hay doing exactly as he likes, operating out of center ring. Jajai just trying to stay out of harm's way and punching range. So he just throws him down, he's got to walk him down, use that jab, step in close so he's not overreaching with his punches, and then land the shot up high and bring his guard down. Because he's, he's being cagey now, Jajai, he's keeping those hands very high, hard to hit him clean, so he's just got to be patient, David. Jajai putting on the earmuffs now, bracketing his head with his hands, trying to repel and parry those shots had a crashing home from David Hay right hand strays around the back of Jajai's head but it's all David Hay throughout the course of this opening round pawing with that left hand looking to find an opening for his right that put the man over in the first 40 seconds of round number one and the right hand has sunk him down again Jajai is complaining that it's behind the back of the head yeah, but a little he's bit of for a second time. Yeah, a little bit of cardiology there. He tried to get away with it, and uh, referee Terry O'Connor done the right thing. He said, "Have stop man. It makes an ordinary.
second up. Round two. So we move into the second round. The first round was a dramatic one as David Hay put his man on the floor twice. Still not clear whether the second knockdown was counted. Referee Terry O'Connor didn't issue a count, but after receiving a right hand that he complained was behind his ear and towards the back of the head, Arnold Jajai sunk to the canvas for a second time after being dropped by a right hand straight down the pipe at around the 30-second mark. And a left jab has put him on the floor this time. David Hay in complete control. Arnold Jajai completely overmatched. Takes a trip to the canvas for the third time yeah. in the second the round. Think he took a dive there. So they weren't very happy about that. We saw your fighter, Conrad, the middleweight, put a man on the floor with a left jab last week in Bristol. David Hay doing the same thing here. Sugar Ray Leonard put Wilfred Benitez on the floor with a straight left hand. Kel Brook did the same on his way to the world title as well. But it's a rare occurrence to see a boxer get floored with a jab. And Arnold Jajai just appears to be looking he's to a place to every fall. every time he's hit here, isn't he? Yeah, appears to be looking to a place to fall here. Every time he's hit with a shot, David Hay, well, I'm sure he's received more opposition during sparring than he's receiving here. Arnold Jajai being completely overwhelmed. And for the second time in the round, Arnold Jajai has taken a trip to the canvas. Completely overwhelmed, completely dominated. And I think Terry O'Connor is going to wave this one off because the fight has been punched out of Arnold Jajai. And with 1 minute 23, Remaining in the second round, David Hay climbs the turnbuckle because Arnold Jajai had just been consigned to his first professional loss. Blitzed into oblivion on the floor four times. Once in the first round, then at the end of the first round, which we're not sure was counted. Then in the second round, he was dropped by a jab and then a cluster of punches just sent him wobbling to the canvas. Arnold Jajai being exposed to a level completely beyond what he's been used to to this point in his career and David Hay continues his successful ring return as he continues to build momentum as he hopes to get himself back into contention for a shot at the heavyweight crown yeah every time we hit this guy more that of a better chance have a look at it here it's a solid looking jab let me have a look at it again this is the end. He's chopping away around the side. Look at his legs every time he's hit on the head. His legs seem to be shaking right to the, to the floor every single time he's hit. Well, no disrespect to Arnold Jajai, but it was a step up in level. But I suspect that David Hay has received more opposition and more movement from the heavy bags in the gym than Arnold Jajai was able to offer tonight. Completely overwhelmed, completely outclassed. But as he said, David Hay in the build-up to this contest, you don't get paid for overtime. And he scores the sixth second-round knockout of his career. His 18th knockout inside three rounds. Arnold Jajai really has been exposed to a painful truth tonight. That is, the a lot more, he has a lot more seasoning to acquire if he hopes to advance towards European contention in his own professional career. So he's either going to grow from this or have his confidence severely dented. No such problems for this man. He's knocked out another opponent inside of three rounds and he continues to build. Ladies and gentlemen, comes with the official time. One minute, 35 seconds. Round number two. Referee Terry O'Connor puts a halt to this bout. Your winner by TKO victory, the Hangmaker, David Hay. So David Hay jumping for joy in the center of the boxing ring and having been declared a second round knockout winner over Arnold Jajai, who was outgunned, overmatched and outclassed during the course of that two round contest. David Hay demonstrating plenty of punch power and the crowd in attendance here once again demonstrates that he is a serious box yeah. office draw Absolutely. and those two oh. qualities yeah. will make him a serious person to be talked about in the heavyweight mix. Without a doubt, yeah, I mean the place is absolutely packed here and uh, you know 
you have to say, I thought those punches that hit him, the first right hand is a very solid right hand. Didn't really get a look at the jab again, so want to have a look at that again in slow motion. And at the end, he was so badly.